What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I am Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 496. In this episode, I'll discuss whether Altaplace can be used to treat COVID-19 patients with thrombotic disseminated intravascular coagulation. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 496. Many patients severely ill with COVID-19 develop a thrombotic disseminated intravascular coagulation. Fibrinolytic therapy has been studied in patients with acute lung injury previously, and several hospitals are currently enrolling patients with severe COVID-19 and DIC in trials using Altaplace. A group of authors has published a three-patient case series on the use of Altaplace in patients with DIC and COVID-19 in the Journal of Thrombosis and Hemostasis. Each patient experienced a positive improvement in the PaO2-FiO2 ratio. However, the benefit proved to be only transient. The regimen used was to give Altaplace 25 mg IV over two hours, followed by another 25 mg infusion over the subsequent 22 hours. None of the three patients had a bleeding event. One patient who descended into multiple organ failure with refractory hypotension secondary to arrhythmia and superimposed bacterial infection died. Mortality and outcome data on the other two patients was not explicitly reported, although the article reads like the patients were alive at the time it was written. Details of further trials using Altaplace for DIC from COVID-19 are underway according to lay press reports. However, I cannot find them registered in clinicaltrials.gov at the time of this writing. To access my free download area with 20 different resources to help you in your practice, go to pharmacyjoe.com free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.